It's lockdown. And it's probably been days, if not weeks, since you've gone out. Now, you're running out of supplies and need to go to the grocery store. But you're afraid of catching the coronavirus. EWN spoke to epidemiologist and health expert Dr. Joe Barnes, who gave tips on how you can keep safe while you shop during this time of COVID-19. Keep your distance. Distance, distance, distance is what is very important. And if somebody is in a queue and not observing the distance, politely just ask them to move away or move a little bit back if you can. And if you see a crowded aisle, just go along where it's less crowded and take the stuff that you need and come back when, when the people have dispersed. It's not all that easy in a shop, but if you wear a mask, and this is very def- definitely a scenario that if you have any mask, it, it will not take the risk away, but it will make it smaller. Watch where you put your phone. If it is at all possible, hang it around your neck so that you don't put it down anywhere. Because phones are handled so many times a day and it's one of the big bridges that infection can jump and we forget to clean them. Don't use your reusable cloth bags. Just put them away for a while because cloth is actually uh, quite a, a, a good bridge for the, the virus as well, particularly since you use them and reuse them and reuse them. So just for this little bit of time, use disposable bags that you can clean more easily because you can wipe it more easily with a, with a damp soapy cloth or a cloth that's got some, some uh, household bleach water on it. Carry extra wipes. It is not only for cleaning your hands, but it, you can use it to handle stuff that you don't want to touch. Use gloves if you can. I, I would advise anybody who can get hold of a pair of gloves to wear gloves when they shop. And to make use of, of the... Every shop now is very well equipped to allow you to sanitize those gloves on the outside because you are touching things and you do not have to throw those gloves away when you get home. You can wash your hands with the gloves on as if they are your hands and hang them up to dry. And the same actually goes for a face mask given that, given that we have such a shortage of masks. Wash your hands. First thing you do when you get home, wash your hands. Wash your hands, the first thing. And the second thing you do is clean your car. Before you offload your groceries what you have, or food that you have, for, wipe the steering wheel. You would be shocked to know how dirty a steering wheel can get. And any levers like the gear shift or the buttons that you use to open and close the windows, and of course the door handles like that. Sanitize items and countertops. When you unpack your your groceries, wipe them on with a damp cloth with a bit of bleach water in it or even just a soapy cloth. If you can, um, then you can uh, make sure that they're clean on the outside before you put them away and then sanitize the countertop. Plan ahead. We, we've been so used to just, you know, dashing down to the local store or the local shop that we didn't really plan so many of these trips. Now we are required to make, to think and see how long you can make these things last so that your trips are the, as few as possible. Dr. Barnes says it's about learning new habits. Just look around as you walk through the, the store and as you come back home and think, Think for a, just brief for a moment, what has touched this? Is it clean? Do I need to clean it? And soon you fall into a habit and it's not such an onerous thing. You, it's just the problem of learning new habits. For more, go to ewn.co.za.